Alright, it's Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're taking a look at a sneaker. Uh, not a lot of hype behind it, but uh, you know how we do on this channel. We rock what we like. We don't uh, let people dictate what we like. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do drop a comment down below in that comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker itself. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now today we're taking a look at a sneaker. Uh, like I said, not a lot of hype around it. Uh, we just gonna go ahead and bring it out. You see that Nike SB box, gray SB Nike branding on top with that cream color box. And take a look at that box label. You see that label, you can read it. Get a little 360 around the box if you haven't seen what the box looks like on the Nike SB Don't Glow. And I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you. It says Nike SB Don't Glow Pro, and the color is Phantom Black and Black Monarch. And this is a size 15 B Nord. This is a personal pair, and I believe the retail on these was like $125. Uh, I believe that was the retail on these as I opened the fold over box lid and you can see there's a large stamp going along that top of that lid and you do have your SB paper that print on there, smooth on one side, rough on the other. It does come with a, trying to get it out, I don't have two uh, good fingernails as you see that uh, white on white Nike SB sticker and look inside the box you do have a green and white ydm sticker in the box and that's pretty much it there's no other goodies can with this sneaker so without further ado let's get into the shoe here we go guys we have the nike sb dunk low the electric pack safari dunk uh this is uh, a sneaker that was made to commemorate or celebrate the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Uh, this sneaker, you got a, uh, the upper is suede. You have a suede upper in the light gray colorway. Or uh, you can call it Monarch maybe. Uh, you have a black leather swoosh. And on your overlays and your mud guard, you have this splash of a uh, safari print. You got safari print going on your overlays, and it's a real nice touch to the shoe. They basically made the sneaker and they made a play off of a previous SB Don't Glow, the uh, Safaris. There also was an Air Max one that was a safari in that pack as well. But that's what this sneaker took its inspiration from. Uh, like I said, you got that suede, nice, kind of thick brand of suede right there. And with that black leather swoosh, like I said earlier, it's a good color combination. Goes really good together. And the overlays and the safari print, like I said. As I take it to that midsole, white midsole, you have black. At the very bottom of the midsole, it leads to the outsole. You have your standard Nike SB Dunk Low outsole, which is majority black, and you have that uh, rust color, burnt orange Nike SB stamp right in the middle. And we're gonna look at the back of the sneaker. You can see there's more of that safari print coming from the overlays, and this feels like it's a leather material. Uh, you do have black uh, suede going around here as well, around the ankle collar, and you have a black leather piece of leather, I should say, excuse me, with the Nike embroidered on there in the burnt orange colorway. And we're gonna go to the medial side of the sneaker. You have that safari print uh, leather coming from your overlays, coming from around, wrapped around the heel of the sneaker to the other side. You do have that Nike swoosh that does the same as well as coming from the other side. Black leather, you do have that gray suede. It's like a soft gray right here on that quarter panel. And you also have matching gray suede 
on that toolbox, which we will get to shortly. You have more of the Safari print. It feels like a leather, but it may actually be new buck. But uh, it's a nice touch, nice look. As we get to the midsole, the midsole is the same white with the black at the very bottom and give you guys a closer look at that toe box. You can see that toe box is in that light gray colorway. Very nice touch of the sneaker. But before you wear these, you got to treat these with that rejuvenator. Wall protecting, yep, you got it. Comes factory lace with these electric blue oval laces and it does come with additional laces as I show you the all black tongue you do have a fat tongue fat tongue and you have a Wolver Nike SB patch on here it says Nike SB Dunk Low Pro you have black piping going around the top of the tongue and I did mention they come with an extra set of laces they do come with a pair of black laces black oval laces so which pair do you prefer to wear with these you can either put the black in or you can put the electric blue give it a pop of color okay and we go on to the back side of the tongue the other side of that woven tag i should say you got that writing on here and let's go inside the sneaker you do have tissue comes with this tissue in the sb and we do have this sock liner you do have like a cotton sock liner in like that burnt orange or uh, hook'em horns texas longhorns colorway and you can see the extra cushioning for the heel and your sbs because these are designed for skateboarding and you do have a little look things fall in please yes indeed with that uh tight sizing tag excuse me and it says a USI 15 production date, January the 18th to March the 22nd of this year. So a couple of months of production with the sizing on these. Me personally, I size up in SBs because my I have flat feet and I've been wearing my SBs a lot lately. And I, the ones I have in size 14 has kind of been pinching my pinky toe. As I show you the insert, I pull the insert out. There you go, Zoom Technology. Nike SB in that burnt orange colorway. And this is standard on the Nike SBs. But sizing, me personally, I size up. If you are able to size up a half a size, that would be great. But if you're in my situation, because of the half sizes stopping at size 11 and a half and we all know size 12 and a half is a unicorn i recommend you go full size up so that's where i stand with the sizing on these nice sneaker probably gonna uh rock this during the fall but if, i think if you rock it in the fall you have to put the black laces in here electric blue in the winter i don't know maybe i could put it off maybe not but that's neither here or there. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.